Hey guys, just wanted to get on here and give a couple of updates. Uh, just sitting on the back deck. I got my feet up on another chair because that's the best comfortable way for me to sit. Um, so, a few updates, I guess. Um, we'll just start with the flooding. I mean, um, people have been trying to get into their businesses and houses and dig out and... I mean, it's terrible. Um, uh, Trump was in Michigan yesterday and already announced that he signed paperwork for uh, FEMA to get in here and start working on stuff along with the Army um, engineers, Army Corps of Engineers, to start looking into the dams to fix those as well or to assist with fixing those as well. Um, I, I guess I didn't, I didn't know. That was a thing they did, so um, good to hear. Um, I don't want to get into the dams too much because there's a lot back behind that. Um, uh, supposedly they were inspected in 2018 and didn't get, get a good passing grade, so um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, people's lives are houses are ruined i mean nobody lost their lives um everybody's accounted for there's no casualties everybody evacuated as needed or was drug out of their houses basically so um i did hear the fire departments go back to a couple houses a few times so um that the kind of stuff i wanted to hear was you know people need to evacuate type of thing so um i guess that's that's it for that um I want to get out and see the, the the destruction, but at the same time, I'm seeing lots lots of pictures. It's hard to get into some of the areas. They have uh, National Guard here and state police and county police are blocking off roadways. To uh, there's people out there being idiots and taking advantage of looting at this time, and um, that pisses me off the most out of anything. So. Um, I guess our local hardware that was right by my old house, people were stealing stuff from them as they were bringing stuff out, trying to get everything dried out out of the inside of the building or assess the inside of the building. So, um, not the kind of shit you want to hear. But, uh, yeah, so my appointment with my surgeon was supposed to be uh, yesterday as well. However, um, they couldn't get to the building. Um, the flood blocked off all of the driveways to the building. I have no idea if the building got flooded or not, or what the status of the building actually is. Um, the building I was supposed to go to for the meeting or the consultation, um, is kind of up on a hill. It's not down on the roadway like the rest of the, uh, hospital is. It's not attached to the hospital. I know the hospital got flooded and the building um, that the ambulances, the ambulance station got, um, some water in it as well. And I've been hearing nonstop planes and helicopters and flying over cause we're right on, you know, in between the rivers. So, <sighs> so yeah, I'm supposed to get a phone call back on, let's try to see if you can see the airplane or not, um, on Tuesday to set up my next consultation. Um, Hopefully the sooner the better. I kind of expressed my frustrations, not with her, but with my doctor, of it taking so long. She asked me how I was doing. I'm like, I'm not in a lot of pain. I'm in discomfort 24-7. I'm frustrated that it's taken this long. I have a job to get to. I have uh, kids that need help with stuff, and I can't. my kids can't sit in my lap and cuddle with me. I mean... Um, I can't lift my kids up. I can't do anything with them. And then not only that, I'm on a volunteer fire department. I can't be up help, helping, um, with any of the, you know, the first two days of the flood. And now I can't go out and help people clean their houses out and stuff like that. So it's very frustrating that I am a person who, and not enjoys that stuff but um i i need that kind of stuff to help others and i can't at this time 
and I actually almost cried on the phone while I was talking to her. My wife's like, are you, are you all right? And I'm like, no, I'm stuck in a house for three weeks. I can't go do anything. I can't even do stuff around here without you know, having to sit down and break for two hours in between doing little minute things. So, yeah, that's about the end of my spiel on that. Uh, last thing I wanted to talk about is um, the weekend deal with Redcon 1. It's already been going. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you've seen that post already. But um, let's see. Uh, there is a buy more, get more type thing going on. So if you spend $50, you're going to get a free t-shirt. If you spend $100, you're going to get a two-pound tub of protein powder along with the t-shirt. And then if you spend $150, you're going to get a uh, t-shirt, two-pound tub of protein powder, of MRE Light, and uh, two free 12-packs of um, FUBAR, the energy shots, like the five-hour energy shot type things that are way better than five-hour energy shots, in my opinion. So um, those are the, that's the deal for the weekend. There's also a new apparel drop um it's called the nine line apparel drop i might get something out of there um there's i believe nine different apparel items that dropped i believe that's why they call it the nine line i haven't looked into it too much um but i know proceeds for the weekend because it's memorial day weekend is uh going to the semper fi fund so uh a marine fund i guess so i would assume so semper fi right um so yeah, that's what's going on this weekend, guys. I hope you enjoy your weekend as much as you can. Um, continue to pray for my community. If you're looking to help support my community at all, please reach out to me. And uh, there are different funds going on. Um, my wife yesterday went through and um, went through the kids' clothes and toys and stuff and basically took a truckload over to somebody who's gathering stuff for a family um in the town where we just moved from which is honestly not that far away guys i mean 10 minutes and uh, there was a little house next to the post office that had a little girl in it that is in my daughter's class and their house was literally lifted off the foundation and pushed into the post office it is now in the the, their house is in the parking lot of our post office um so we are donating a bunch of stuff or we have donated a bunch of stuff to that family and my wife went over to some other people's houses and got stuff from them to donate to this family as well they have a six-year-old daughter that was in the class with my my daughter a two-year-old daughter and then the wife is 38 weeks pregnant um, with another little girl so we had lots of little girl clothes that we donated and uh, we're looking for somebody with a little little boy that we can donate all of Cam's clothes to so just to do our part of trying to help out um, that's as much as we can do I'd rather be downtown helping clean businesses up and um, helping out the people that I know that are have their houses flooded but i can't so uh, this is the best thing that we can do at this time um it's been great to see this community come together um through facebook because <laughs> i honestly haven't left my house since we came home with the camper so uh, it's it's been a crazy year not only that but up north of me uh, about an hour and a half yesterday, there was like a 100 acre um, woods fire or forest fire yesterday. So that was just uh, the top of everything, right? So it was Michigan, the only place where it can be underwater and on fire at the same time. And everybody has to evacuate and stay six feet away from each other. That's the, the thing that's going around. So, all right. If you guys are interested in, in anything, ordering anything, helping out my community let me know and i can point you in the right direction i appreciate you guys watching and uh have a safe holiday